am back with another huge Hobby Lobby haul. Um, this is their March clearance, and I was actually a little late for this one. I didn't even see that they were doing this up until, um, I think, like, Tuesday, and today is Saturday. Um, so I went to three Hobby Lobbies, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is the Dilutions sprays, which everybody's been showing. Um, and my first two Hobby Lobbies did not have these on clearance. They had them in stock, but they were not marked down. So I actually called another Hobby Lobby that I'd never been to that was like 45 minutes away from my house. And I went there and she, I actually called first and she said she had them marked down. So I went there and I picked up these sprays and let's see. I may have these already. I've never had the the black and white. But I do love the Diane Rivoli sprays. They're like my kind of go-to whenever I use sprays. I love these sprays. I love the colors. And then I got the Dina Wakely paints. Um, again, my two local Hobby Lobbies did not have these marked down. Um, actually, they didn't really even have any Dina Wakely's anything. So the other one that I went to yesterday had this stuff. So I got the turquoise, the gilt, the fuchsia, and the gesso because I'm almost sure, like I was watching a creativation video with Tim Holtz or somebody saying how much he liked Dina Wakely's gesso. I could be wrong, but I think it was Dina Wakely's gesso. So for $1.50, I decided to try it out. And the gilt was $1.75. I don't know why that one goes for more, but I'm kind of excited to try these paints out. And then I got this fine applicator tip, um, and I just bought one. It was $2.50 um, to put on her paints and turn them into kind of like fine liners. I have a lot of those kind of paints when I bought all those Bria Reese's from the last haul. So I just figured I'd try one of these out and just got one. Uh, I got these. These were pretty exciting to get. Uh, these were $9 marked down to $2.25, and these are the media boards. And... I never work on canvas, so to have these kind of canvas boards, I thought it would be neat to try out at least. Um, Michael's is now selling a lot of the Art Basics Finnebear stuff, and that kind of stuff is best on canvases, and I have gotten some of that stuff, which I'll do another video on that stuff um, because it's a more dimensional mixed media, so I thought maybe I could practice some of that stuff on these canvases. Uh, I saw another video where somebody had the adhesive canvas sheets, um, but the store I went to had some, but they were not marked down. Okay, texture gems. I got these, um, the sticker's gone. I want to say these were two change. They were regular $9. I do a lot of, like, um, especially on my fabrics, I do a lot of this gel liner stuff. So I like having these, so I picked these up. Um, again, they, I wanted to get the tea dye set, and the first Hobby Lobby I went to had the tea dye set and marked down, and I didn't pick it up. Then I watched a video on it, and I wanted to get it, and then the one yesterday had it, but it wasn't marked down. I don't know. I got some sickles. Um, I think they also had the perfect the liquid pearls on sale. I have a lot of those, so I didn't buy them. I only bought one package of these because I have some already. I barely ever use stickles, um, so I picked up one pack. So they had the Art Basic texture brushes, and if you can see, the ends have, um, if you can see the ends have like these texture, um, like I'll take it out. So these are neat for spreading like, um, you know, they got different silicone. They come off though, well at least this one keeps coming off, maybe it's they're supposed to be on, I don't know, I think they're supposed to be on and this one just keeps coming off. But I picked these up because I always can use paint brushes, these were $3.00. Um, marked down from 12. Oh, I got this Dilutions block. I was kind of happy to get this, and I don't remember offhand how much this went for. Uh, probably $2.50 because I think it was normally like $10. So I know I took some of the stickers off because some of this stuff I may be gifting to other people. All right, so I got that. And I got foil. So I got some deco foils. Um, these were $1.25. I got a silver, a blue, and a gold. And then I got this deco foil ad liquid adhesive that you're supposed to be, I was reading the back that if you use this adhesive, it's kind of got like a fine tip, and you make a design, you let it dry, then you can rub the foil on it. And I've seen a video with Tim Holtz kind of did that with the sticky embossing powder ranger where you like kind of do it, and then you let it dry, you rub the foil with your finger, and then it'll adhese. Um, this was $1.25, so even if it doesn't work too well, 
I know I can use it as a glue. It's like, you know, because it's got the nice tip on it. Um, and also, I know that the foil I can use through like my laminator and stuff like that. So, and then I found this Heidi Swap, and this is black. And I've never really seen black foil, although they did have the Deco foil in black. But the Heidi Swap for $215. There is a lot on here. This is 12.25 times 10 feet. So, I mean, you get a lot of foil on here. These are like nine inch by 12 inches and there's only like, or six, six inch. This is six inch by 12 inch. Um, so these aren't very big. So this, I have these and these kind of last forever. So I'm kind of interested to try things with the black foil. The next thing I got to go along with the foil was this Deco Foil Foam Adhesive. It's double-sided transfer adhesive and it is used for um, to transfer and add a foil finish to your projects. So I guess you can stick it on, cut it out, maybe you know through your die cutting machines and then you can have kind of like foil letters and numbers. So that seems kind of interesting. So this was $1.50 and I picked that up. And the next thing I got were the stencils. Okay, so first off is uh, they had the Faber-Castells and not all of them, this one was on sale. I don't know if any of the other ones were. I have a couple of these packs. I love these stencils. These are my go-to all the time stencils because um, you don't clean them. So you they're cardstock and you just paint on them with your acrylics or your jelly plates, whatever, and you let the paint dry on them and it actually makes them stiffer and more durable. Um, so that's why I usually use these, especially with jelly printing, because it's a pain to keep, you know, washing off your stencils when you're doing stuff um, with paint all the time. So I love using these. And let's see, I got, let's see, some of these um, brass templates. And I may already have, I probably already have this one. I think I do have this one. They were a dollar. I have to check. You can bring back the clearance. I asked because some of this stuff I might have had doubles of and I bought and then I'm like, well, I'll either give it away or I'll bring it back. But as I was checking out, I asked and they said you can bring back the clearance stuff. So today I may go through like stuff that I don't really need and bring it back. And I think I've used these through the embossing machines for dry embossing and I think they work for that too. Okay, stencils. So I got, this one is the Julie Balzar Design Stencil. That's kind of nice, $1.50. I have this stencil. This is my favorite stencil to use. Um, so I picked up another one because when you do clean it, um, sometimes, you know, it gets a little misshapen. So I figured I'd have an extra one because it's my go-to favorite stencil. Uh, this one I thought would be nice and again, these are $1.50. This one I thought would be nice for like winter scenes maybe. I don't know. So I picked this one up, $1.75. Uh, this Prima stencil, not my favorite stencil, but for $1.25 I picked it up. I got this one for $1.50. Um, this Prima stencil, I may have this one already because... I'm sure, I know they sell this and I'm sure I would have bought this already. So I think I might already have this one. So again, it, I'll, I'll either give it away or I'll bring it back. I've passed this one up before, but for $1.50, I figured, you know, why not? This one is another one. I'm not, I never really liked this one too much. I've seen this one. I've always passed this one up. Um, it's the Anna Griffin one, but for $2, I picked it up because I do like flower backgrounds and I think it might make some nice cards and stuff. And then I got these um, Artsy, and these are, let's see if you can see them, um, like a stencil in the back and they're stamps. And this is, again, something I've seen at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I've never bought these, but I just picked them up for the $2. And the stamps aren't too bad, and I kind of like that stencil, although I have that one already in, a, in the Faber-Castell. And then this one, but the these are cute little stamps, so pick those up. I think that is it for the most part for paper crafting stuff. Okay, so then, oh, one other thing to go along with the art basics. I actually bought this last month when they were doing the hauls, and I bought this with the coupon, and now these brushes are $2.50, so I'm a little annoyed that they're now marked down to $2.50 because I probably paid $6 dollars for it. Um, again, if I can find the receipt, I may bring it back and rebuy uh, the cheaper one. I don't know. I'll see if I'm going there anyways. All right. So fine. 
Okay, so fine arts. Um, their fine arts stuff is marked down, and I actually will have some pictures I took because I didn't buy a ton of the fine arts stuff just because I have stuff already. So I'll show you what I got. Uh, these woodless pencils are really nice, actually. Um, and I opened them, and they come with this little trays, which I think is really cute. I just like the way they feel like when you're holding them in your hand. Um, and these are not, you know, these aren't artist quality, but I work with kids, so I thought they'd be good for that, uh, to bring in for that kind of work. Um, but they're decent. So these are kind of like, you know, middle of the road. They're normally $22 for $24. So, I mean, they're not your artist quality, but they're not, you know, your, the cheapest quality you can buy either. Um, so I was kind of happy about that. And they also have a 12-pack. And these were six change for these. Okay, the next thing I got was this little watercolor travel set, and this was normally, where's the sticker? Okay, it's over here, $25, and it was $6.24, um, and this is like the cutest thing. Let me, um, now I have it all close up. Okay, this is so cute, and I do not need watercolors. Um, honestly, I, I have the Jane Davenport ones. Uh, I also have the Ganzai Tambi 30 something set and I don't watercolor very often so I this is not something I needed but it was it was so cute. So this you know, it has like a little wristlet and then you open it up and here's the tin and you have this little comes out. It's I don't know. It's very cute. So I got that. And it was, I kind of debated on this and the other one I'll show you that I'm showing you next. Um, and this is the Windsor and Newton, and this was eight dollars, and it was regular thirty-six. And the first two Hobby Lobbies I went to, they had a lot of these, and then the one I went to yesterday didn't have any. So interesting. But you have like the little palette set, and I know these are decent paints. You know they're not the best paints, but they're pretty good quality paints. Um, Probably better than, you know, the Jane Davenport and those kind of paints. And this comes out, so you have your palette. It's just very kind of travel set or very cute. And this... Okay. All right. I bought these um, artist pencils, and I definitely think these are going back. They were $17 for $3.75. I have tons of pencils. I don't know. I like the Derwent pencils, but I have the Ink Tents. I have the Graph Tents. I have, you know, a lot of pencils. And I'm not even quite sure. I'm not an artist, so I don't really even know kind of the purpose of these. They're lighter colors and darker colors. Um, I mean, they're nice. But I'm not, I don't draw that much. So, I don't know. I don't really think, I don't know. Unless I keep them for like a gift again. These make, some of these things make really good gifts. Okay, so I got the chameleons. And these I will definitely try out. I was actually at a stamp show, um, I think it was like the year before last, where they were demoing these. And I may have used them a little bit, like on kind of like a, a demo table. $27, I would never pay for that. I have Copics. I have probably like maybe almost 100 of the Copics, which I don't even use enough to justify even having them. So to have these. But these were $6.75. And some of them were marked down. Some of them were not marked down. I picked up these two. I especially thought these would be nice to try for the facial, like blending face colors. Um, because you blend a lot in faces. So, and then they had this one. So I bought these, and these I actually picked up for somebody else. I picked these up for my boss. I got five of these. These are the Royal Lanikin, and I actually have one of their big, giant, like, mixed media type kits that was like, you know, you buy at Christmas time that has tons of stuff in it, and the quality is not really that great in the Royal Lanikin, but these were $1.25, and we're actually going to give these out to the students, like, to the students, and they come in these neat little cases. So, they're charcoal and graphite mix, so they're, they'll be good to give, you know, for the kids at, at work them to them because they each have like a tin and they can kind of have their own. So I picked those up again. Those were like for my boss. 
And then I was so excited to get journals. Like all these journals were on sale and I was really stocking up. They had all like giant ones for like two chains, really big ones and everything. And then one was kind of open because they're sealed. And the paper in these, I do not like the paper. The paper is terrible. They are perforated. I mean, they're a buck fifty, regular six dollars. But I just did not like the way the paper felt. It's weird paper. Um, it says it's 70 pounds, but it's, I don't know. It's it's weird. So actually, I'm gonna, again, these are for my boss. I'm going to see if she doesn't like them. I'll return them because... So if you don't mind the paper, um, there's tons of those. Um, the first one I went to didn't have those spiral ones, but the second one I did, so... Okay, this I got for... Um, I opened it. It's a Canson, and this was 20 one dollars i got this for five this is really nice this is an art book 180 um it's got a magnet clasp and you know the paper is okay in this and these are you know i'm i don't sketch so i was thinking more of gift stuff for these or maybe you know i would glue pages together and make these into an art journal um because the paper isn't really meant for all the water and stuff unless you kind of glue a couple together and gesso it but i thought that was a great buy so i picked it at up so this was very interesting. This is a leather journal with tie. It's supposed to be like handmade leather and the paper is like this special kind of um, special paper, like almost like a handmade paper. And I thought it was neat and I was going to buy some more, but then I'm like, I'll probably never use this. I'll hold on to it. I'm not going to use it because I don't want to mess it up. So it'll be something that I just stash and hoard forever. So this was $3.50, regular $14. Um, and then here I picked up some more of these journals and this these were like two two dollars But again once I open them up the papers weird on these. It's not really smooth paper. It's kind of rough I don't know. I, I don't really like it um, But you know they have the little bookmarks in them and they're nice for two dollars. They have the thing here and definitely for a gift I may hang I was gonna bring them back. I may hang on to them um, because I think they'll make good gifts, especially like kind of little tchotchke kind of items when you got to give maybe a teacher gift or, you know, like a, your kid's friends or somebody, I don't know, just as like add-on kind of things, a pencil set or something. That's kind of a cute little gift. Um, these were $2.50, same kind of paper in them. Some of these are cream colored, some of them are white, um, and I don't know, I thought I really liked them, but now I'm not so keen on them. I may bring them back. All right, so let me show you some of the stuff I didn't get, but were really good deals. So, let's see on my iPad, go into my pictures. Where are my pictures? Photos. Okay, so, all right. So, some of the stuff I did not get, but they were really good deals, so I took pictures of them. Uh, so, they had these silicone titanium scissors for $2. I have the Tin Holt and other scissors, so I didn't really need to get them. Uh, I thought that was a good deal. Then they had all these um, stayed letter, like the watercolor pencils and all their pencils marked down from $20 to $5. Oh, sorry. My pad's flipping. Um... And they had a lot of these create a color things. They had pastel pencils, these watercolor pencils, uh, four dollars from twenty-two dollars. Again, I don't really need those. I see a lot of people were getting the Zig brush. Um, I have a lot of the water brushes already, and I usually buy like the. Um, there's like another brand that I I buy that I like a lot. It's uh, like the Pentel or something. I buy these. So, but I've seen a lot of people getting those. Um, these are the pencils I got for $6.25. I like those. Um, another woodless pencil. These were $2.50 for a 12-pack. Prismacolor. Lots of Prismacolor. Now, this says it's a 79-set uh, mixed-media color set premier. A regular $160. Um, I don't know if it's other things besides pencils. Maybe it is. It's uh, an ensemble of mixed-media stuff for Prismacolor. Regular $160 for $40. Uh, I'm not really interested in Prismacolor stuff. I don't have a good luck with their pencils. I have the full Polychromo set. Um, I have a 48 Prismacolor set. Whenever I sharpen them, they seem to crumble and break. The cores are always broken. I, I don't like them. I mean, I know a lot of people love them. I just don't like them. So I passed on this. 
Um, but I'm, now I'm kind of interested to see what's in this mixed media color set because I think it's other things besides just the pencils. Um, and they had all of them. They had all their Prisma stuff on sale. And then this Faber Castell Aquarelles. Again, I don't need um, any really watercolor pencils. I have the ink tents and stuff. So I don't really need, although those are kind of different. But anyways, these were um, $43 on sale for $10.75. And then their Prismacolor markers were regularly 65 on sale for 20 and that's for a 12 set. And like I said, all their Prismacolor stuff is on sale. Moving on, they had um, a lot of their pencil sets, um, Derwent, all these. This Faber-Castell, this is an 11 piece graphite set, pick graphite set for $8.25. I actually picked up last month a while back I picked up this one for actually seven I think this was like seven dollars and this is a 19 set but I really like this set I love this set. I love these like I said these um kind of woodless things and everything but this is a great set and again these are great like if you know anybody like artist kids and stuff these are really good gifts like I would hold on to these like for Christmas gifts and stuff um, pencils. Okay, so they had a lot of their Master Touch stuff, um, like their stuff pretty cheap. Their pastels, all their pencils. They had stacks and stacks of their pencils for a couple dollars, um, like their 48 count pencils. Here we go. Here's these um, chameleon markers that I picked up some of. Then they had all their calligraphy stuff. I don't do calligraphy. And they have these little waxings. And these were things I kind of picked up and I was going to get, but then I put it back because I don't really need them. And I didn't want to, I was buying to buy and I didn't need to buy to buy. Um, so here's some more though, all these like dip pens, calligraphy pens, they were marked down really cheap. So if you're into all that stuff, okay, I got this and this was pretty cool. This is like a Sure Bonder refillable tape dispenser. And it's not like, an, it's not double sided tape. It's regular tape. Um, but I've tried it out and I got some refills. This was... $13 for $3. I got these two refills for a dollar each. And basically, you just press it in. It's not like an ATG. You know, you just press it and you get an inch of piece of regular tape. Just an inch and a half of tape. And I just thought it would be handy for tape and pretty cheap, especially for wrapping gifts. So, um, yeah, this is kind of one of my favorite finds. Um, definitely. And I think. I mean, there's a lot of tape on these rolls. So, I mean, with the five rolls cost me three, four, five bucks. Definitely worth the money. And then I got, let's see, I got the paints that people are showing, these acrylics. And I actually had a lot of them. I think I had like 12. And then I kept putting them back because they're huge. And I don't know. I, it's probably going to take me forever. And they were what? A dollar seventy-five regular seven dollars um got the green i got a yellow and then i got a purple so i mean i think mostly what i'll use these for is the jelly plate i mean i guess they're you know there's a step above just your regular cheap craft paint they're huge for a dollar 75 they're huge um, so I thought, you know, I'll get them. I, I put some back because I don't even know where I'm going to put them all because they're so big. This vellum, 10 sheets for a dollar. It's 12 by 12 vellum. I got this dry erase black board and this is an 18 by 24 board. It was $2.50, regular $10. It's not magnetic. I actually had a giant one that you hang on your wall that actually had like the spot on the bottom, like where you would put your eraser and your markers, a little ledge and it was magnetic, but you had to hang it on the wall. And I carried the thing in my carriage all over the store. And then as I was checking out, I said, and it was only $6. It was like whatever regular price it was, it was down to six, but I, I put it back as I was checking out. And actually I looked behind me as I was putting stuff in my car and the lady behind me that I put it back, she bought it. So the next thing I got was this bleed proof marker paper, regular like $15 and it was $3.75 or three change. Um, I tried it out a little bit. It works um, pretty good. It's very thin and I'm not, you know, an illustrator. So it's weird to me to have it so thin. I usually use the Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock for Copics or I use Bristol board. 
but I figured I would try this out, especially for maybe practicing, because I definitely should practice. Uh, it blends great. Let's see, using these colors. Definitely blends very well, and it's not sucking into, like, the bristle board really sucks it into it. Um, you can see that it goes through. I mean, obviously it's thin paper. You can see it on the other side, but it doesn't bleed through to the other side. Although it did a little bit there, so it's not perfect. Um, but I got this. This Strathmore paper is so smooth. And this was $16, um, for four. And I did try the same thing here. I did try it out already. And, um, it's so smooth. The paper, it feels so nice. It I don't know, it really feels nice. I would almost buy more of these because I just like the way it feels. Um, but, and it doesn't really go through. Um, I'm sure if you really saturate it, it will, but it feels super nice. So I got two of these because that's all they had. Bought this foam stamp for 75 cents. Um, this is kind of nice. You can cut these out. Um, just foam. I'm not sure what I'll use it for, but just a good to kind of have in the craft room. And then I got this paper. Um, I really like this paper pad for $5. And I'm mad because last time I had bought this one, um, and I think this wasn't marked down. I just bought it with the coupon. And now this one is marked down for $3.25 or something. So I'm kind of mad. Things that I paid that got marked down. Um, but let me just show you quick this paper because it's really, um, I like vintage, so to me this is really nice um, for collaging, even fussy cutting out some of this stuff. I'll show you, um, the purple's pretty. This is really nice, I mean you can definitely cut this out almost like an ephemera kind of thing. There's three of each sheet. Um, again, this would make great like ephemera, which I love ephemera, vintage ephemera. Um, there quickly because I know this is a super long video but I think this is going to be one of my most favorite pads to date I like all these this is really pretty too um, very pretty um, pad and I'm sure they've had this and I've really never like I kind of remember seeing this name and maybe I just never looked at it before so I definitely bought a lot of stuff this time and I spent a lot of money. I know I spent like 20 something, 50 something, and then 60 something. So definitely a lot of money. Um, I know I'm well stocked. I think I am going to go through and bring some of the stuff back that I don't really need because I get in that mode when I'm there and I start buying like crazy and throwing stuff in and then I put some stuff back. But I'm going to go through and like I said, things that I have like doubles of or that I don't really need may go back. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.